Hey guys, like I said in a prior video, my plants are moving a little quicker than me this year, so I did let a couple things get away from me, like this clematis, where it's kind of obvious it's laying on the ground and sprawling rather than climbing up the trellis that's right behind it. Uh, not a big deal though, clematis know what they're doing when it comes to climbing up something, so you just point it in the right direction and it'll do its thing. Uh, these are actually like the fourth and fifth blooms on it. It's been growing for about two weeks now. It started at the very bottom. Now there's three different kinds of clematis in the way you prune them. For me it's too hard to keep track of all that and too confusing so I just take them all down to about 18 inches of buds. That way no matter what it is you get some blooms. Now I know it's not correct and there are other ways of doing it but that's what I do. Uh, now like I said they will stick to something once you show them where to go. So I'm just going to grab this as lightly as I can. And you see this clip here? It's made with a hole in the center so you don't pinch or break your uh, branches or vines and also so it gives them room to grow. Just going to clip that onto the vine I have here and the lattice. Now I do have a couple more little scraggly branches hanging out here and I'm just going to pull those around and probably just clip that to the other branch. See how I did that one there? Now you don't have to be too particular with this, like I say it will do its own thing. If you can see here, the leaves themselves come out on a stem and the stem will twist around things and it'll grab and that's how it clings to things. So, like I said, all we have to do is show it where to go and it'll come up all of the way on this. I think it's a six foot fence that I put two pieces of lattice on. Uh, I've grown it here for a few years. As you can see on the bottom, I have planted around it. I have some uh, lilies and a day lily. Clematis like hot heads and cool feet. What that means is the top of the plant needs sun and it needs some heat. Uh, but the roots will crisp out and die if they're too hot. So what most people will do is companion plant. They'll plant something in front of it that stays smaller and the clematis will get cool feet. And since the vine grows up and taller than what's in front, you get your hot head. Uh, hope this helps. Uh, like I said, clematis doesn't take much to show it where to grow. The clips will be fine for, I'd say, about a week, and then I'll come take them off so it doesn't get tangled up in there and stuff. But uh, just keep deadheading and watering, and it'll keep blooming for you. I usually get two or three good flushes of flowers, and usually with, not without them for too long. So I don't remember the variety of this one, and I do have two others in the yard when they start. Maybe we'll include those. Thank you for watching and hope this helps.